way to improve the Middletown business climate moving forward? Good evening. I just answered the question first. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this is true. This was mine, okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, as I said before, I think economic development is a, is a, is a really important uh, element of, of growing the middle class here. I see a lot of industries poised for growth in the next 10, 20, 30 years, in the next several decades. And I think what we need to do is zero in on the industries that we believe will be growth industries, because those are the industries where jobs are going to be created, those are the industries that are going to come in and, and make something tangible, those are the industries that are going to, to grow the tax base, because if we can offer them economic incentives to come here, reduce taxes through abatements, through job creation incentives and job retention incentives, then one of the things that we'll be able to do is grow the grant list and grow our tax base and realize an economies of scale effect. So we'll be giving each of these businesses a reduced tax rate, essentially, through the abatements and the other, the other incentives that we offer. But because we can get more of them here and we can recruit more of them here, then we'll be able to realize more tax revenue ultimately. But the biggest thing when it comes to economic development and business climate is keeping people employed. It's a huge national problem. And I don't pretend that we can suddenly turn it around just in Middletown. But what we can do is capitalize on our strengths to insulate ourselves to, to the best extent that we can against the greater worldwide and nationwide economic catastrophe. And the way we do that is by targeting these specific growth industries. Aerospace and aerospace manufacturing is one. Green technology is another. Uh, biotech research is another. These are industries that create good paying jobs, that have good health benefits, and that will bring in a lot of taxable revenue to the city. I think we have to get very aggressive about going out and finding those companies to come here. If it takes me getting on a plane and making an offer to a CEO and saying, I am willing to go to bat for you, I am ready to make Middletown your home, tell us what you need, then I will get on a plane and do that. We have to go out and reach out to other people because in this economy, I don't think we can wait for other people to come to us. So that's how I want to move forward. Work with the Chamber of Commerce, work with Wesleyan University, work with all the players in the community and make sure that we're being very active and very strategic in how we're growing our local economy. Well, what we have is a very good economic, economic development director and a very good chamber of commerce. Those things are already working in our favor. We have had grandless growth in Middletown for every one of the six years I've been in office. When in the last couple of years, when most communities have seen grandless decline and we're happy with flat grandless growth, we've had increases. The problem we face in the next few years is that mostly where we're attracting businesses to Middletown is we are competing with other Connecticut communities for Connecticut businesses. Connecticut's business climate overall is not good. Um, so in terms of being able to attract you know, a, a business enterprise from outside of the state, they've got 49 other states, but we'll give them a better deal than Connecticut will. So it's very, very difficult to get them to come here. And, uh, and, and right now, as I said, I think what we're doing is we're, we're raiding other towns. We've gone on. That's not going to continue unless we, get, uh, unless we get some improvement at the state level, because we're not going to be able to compete with other states where it's much less expensive to, to operate. I think we need to go with what we have. We are blessed with, uh, with a great location in the state of Connecticut. We have good highway networks. We are on the river. And West Bend is in Middletown. That is a huge, huge draw. The fact that this, this institution is right here and the resources that this institution provides are available to those who are looking at Middletown. I don't understand the contention that because we're competing with 49 other states that we shouldn't be going out and trying to get those companies to come here. Uh, I also disagree with the old canard that Connecticut is too expensive a place to do business. There was, and this isn't just my opinion, there was a report released in the media very recently, probably about a month or two ago, uh, about a national, a national study that showed that Connecticut is actually one of the most affordable places to do business in many regards. Because when you adjust for factors like educational level and cost of living, Connecticut turns out to have one of the best uh, environments for doing business. Uh, in terms of competing with other, other towns in Connecticut, we have attributes and assets that other towns don't. We have, as the mayor just said, a vibrant riverfront, or potentially vibrant riverfront, that can not only be developed 
for uh, a retail and restaurant area, but also for shipping. We, we are on two major highways, and we have a lot of assets that we can uh, capitalize on, that we can market to companies, not just throughout the state of Connecticut, but throughout the country. And I think that we should absolutely be doing that, uh, and that we should be very aggressive about going and finding those companies, because I don't see any reason to sit back. If ever there was a time to be aggressive about it, and to go out and find people, and make them offers, and try to get them here, now is the time.